the 101st is arguably the most well-known unit in military history. This patch especially, one of the most famous unit insignias in military history. Of course, because of our World War II uh, history and Band of Brothers, both the book and the miniseries, um, but even in Vietnam and the War on Terror and Desert Storm, we have a lot of exploits. In 1974, we became an Air Assault Division. That's when we changed from Air Mobile to 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. So the 101st is the only Air Assault Division in the U.S. Army and actually in the whole wide world. So every soldier that comes to Fort Campbell and even soldiers that are off post uh, will come to the Sobolowski Air Assault School to get Air Assault training. Air Assault School is known as the 10 toughest days in the Army. It may not be physically uh, the toughest 10 days, uh, but is arguably probably one of the mentally hard courses that, are, that the school has to offer. So to graduate Air Assault School, you have to complete all three phases. We start out with an obstacle course, two mile run. Uh, there's a gear layout uh, that, that all soldiers will have to accomplish to move on into uh, the next three phases. Uh, the very ending event is a 12 mile foot march that soldiers have to complete with three hours or less wearing about 45 pounds worth of gear. I think there is a sense of pride among soldiers, especially when you go back to your unit and you have those fresh wings, you know, pinned on your chest. You're looked at, you know, from your other soldiers a lot differently. You know, there's more responsibility. Uh, they know that, you know, you have gone through the same course that they have, endured all the same endeavors that they have. So there's a, there's a bond that you have between anybody who is air assault qualified. Even, not necessarily just in the division, but even army wide, um, there's that sense of pride knowing that, you know, uh, brother in arms, sister in arms, uh, that we're both air assault qualified. Air assault!